If there was holes in the roof when we started off, the one used to come here, if it was bad rain, there would be drips coming down the room, so we used to have to put a bucket down to catch the drips, so then the floor would get slippy. So then I always had this space and I decided I'll use, I'll use my money from fighting, what I get from fighting, and I'll invest it, and I'll create myself a gym in my own back garden, because when I'm never out of the gym, so there's nothing more handy than having a gym right in your doorstep. I'll finish work six in the morning, and I'll meet Lawrence in the garage here, and we'll do a workout before he starts work at eight, and then obviously go back to bed again, so old school. <laughs> One of my mates, who I was mates with and then in school, and I used to get a lot of bother from older kids at school, and I wanted to learn how to defend myself. And I spoke to him, he told me to the local boxing club, which was down at the Calmon Club. Went there and I was 14, and so I just started tearing up every night. I went from there and just got the bag. One, the Scottish novice, schoolboys, and youth. And then I moved into the seniors, and I won an intermediate senior title. And then I moved, then I won the North of Scotland title, senior title, and then I won, and then, then I came in the Open Championships and I was trying to qualify for the Commonwealth Games, I got to the semi-finals. This year, January, got offered by Salt Hard Promotions, professional contract, so I took them up from that. Many summer holidays when I was a kid on the cross, that's what they, that's what tell me you toughen up. You're tough now from all the times on the croft chasing the sheep in the hill. I spent those school holidays with his granny and grandpa up here. So the summer and Easter and we would be helping them out. Chasing sheep and gathering sheep. Oh, it helped them, because we had the old seagull engine that he used to make him run up and down the field with on his shoulders, like, which his forefathers did, and he could do it as well. So it put strength on him. There's a pier at the bottom of the cross and he used to carry the engine up on his back. He used to tell me as a kid, this will make a man out of you. So part of the thing was to prove a point to my dad that I could do it. He used to, he used to make me do it and carry up the, up the cross to the top. Right, yes, you got to do it, right? Running up and down from the pier with that on his shoulders. Right. Make a man of him. We're hoping he can go all the way. That's what we're hoping for. We'll see how it goes, but we're hoping we're hoping the whole lot of us to go to Madison Square Gardens one day. We're going to get the crofters over there for a day out. Well, I'll be at. Oh, I think Madison Square Garden, they would enjoy having the crofters, I think. Boxing sorted me out when I was going through that transition period when I was a teenager. Could have either gone into trouble or whatnot, but the game he sat in took me off being on the streets and being bored and trying to find something to do in my time and gave me something to dedicate myself to. It took me off in, in the gym and she just taught me a lot of discipline. This taught me a definitely a lot of discipline and a lot of respect. So this will always be that be my like first gym. I'll always I'll always train out here. So even if I move away, I'll always have a, I'll always come back to the garage and I'll be there. It's all started with the holes in the garage. That's it, old school.